Okay, so same thing today. Uh, not going in any type of order as far as cutting materials. So I'll be starting out with all sorts of things. There is our cleared spot. And here is our knife, the Smith & Wesson Stave, HCR 13 MOV. Oops. So there we go. Oh, I forgot to show this the other day. So if anybody was wanting to know, just FYI, here, here were the cutting materials from the other day. Well, we are done, and uh, got a fair amount of materials cut up, food boxes, copier paper, food packaging, playing cards, foam packaging inserts, just some of the stuff. I have not touched up this knife. And it is still, oops, cutting paper. If I can get the right angle there. So uh, that being said, kind of expected of HCR 13 MOV but it's nice because uh, hmm, did I speak too soon? that was a good cut that was a good cut yeah so uh, quite capable for EDC, easy to touch up with a ceramic pull-through. I have not had to do that. And uh, with the pull-throughs, you don't have to worry about the curve of the blade. So, um, yeah. So this is really uh, a nice knife. No side-to-side uh, no -side play or uh, up-and-down play. And... Uh, what can I say? I'm not a fan of the bolster and the imitation look of wood. So if this was like a gray or black handle instead of brown G10, I'd like it better. But it is what it is. Uh, this finger jimping is not aggressive, not sharp at all at the top. It does stick out a little bit on this side, which... I think I was just spoiled by another knife that had the, the side of the frame here a little bit more out so that you could push in on this side, but you didn't feel it as much on this side. But again, not the end of the world. So, but yeah, the uh, Smith & Wesson Stave. 
So I hope they uh, continue this trend of coming out with the uh, at least HCR 13 MOV steels. Uh, this one has a really nice blade thickness too. So, so we'll put this in the queue for the day off carry. See how the clip stands up and the flipper and uh, blade play and how that all goes. But we're done with this for cutting. And so I don't forget, here are some of the things that we cut up today. So I did have some cedar wood. So what is this one? I think that's supposed to say candle wax. Yeah. Yep. Where's the cedar? Oh, there it is, cedar blocks. Yeah. I didn't do like a whole block, but I just did some whittling. So. Well, I wanted I wanted to do the uh, mace pepper gun test, but it's too windy today.